All right, Coach, last time out, you guys were up at a college station. Uh, Luis had a 33rd place finish. How, how did he look to you? Well, it looked pretty good. You know, it was a kind of a soft course, first time we'd been there. You know, it rained a lot, so we're running in you know, normal kind of cross-country conditions. It was wet, it was muddy, so we really just kind of slopped around and just, just wanted to compete out there, so it was good. For a lot of uh, your student athletes, it was their first official uh, meet. Uh, how did they? How did you see them out there? How did they take in the, the situation, the experience? Uh, some of them learned what we want them to, which is to go out there and compete. You know, the first time out, you're not too sure, you know, where you're at talent-wise or competitive-wise. You're not sure who's who's bringing what to the table. So it's about just getting out there and competing. And some of them were able to, to learn from that experience and do so. Uh, this weekend, you guys head up to Corpus Christi for the Islander Splash. Uh, a meet that you guys have gone to previously. Um, how do they? How do your student athletes use that experience from last weekend to to be able to put that into play this weekend? Uh, hopefully, they they they've learned lessons. Um, you know, we didn't do as well as we wanted to last week, but we learned from that. We learned that it takes a lot of hard work to be competitive. So that's what we're looking for for this year, uh, this week, is for them to go out and, and really compete and push hard and push harder than they did last week and, and continue just to get better. Uh, this week you guys run at night, and I think it's like a 6 p.m. start. Is there a difference between running in the morning and running in the evening? No, not particularly. Temperatures are usually comparable here in, in Texas. So you know, whether it's an evening race or a morning race, you just kind of want to avoid the heat. So they should be all right.